Indeed it does, and yes, because if you go from here to Toronto, you do go through St. Catharines, don't you? And after a decade of planning, the latest milestone reached by Hoverlink makes them more confident that they've not only just the ticket, but can move forward with a plan to succeed where others have failed. Having already secured a dock space to develop and from which to operate in St. Catharines, Hoverlink has now inked a lease for dock space near the island airport on the Toronto waterfront. The trip between the two cities would take about a half hour aboard a hovercraft like this one that can carry up to 180 passengers, which would operate year round. These are some pretty interesting craft that can be very competent across Lake Ontario, which gets some pretty interesting sea states in the wintertime. But by floating above waves or ice, that's not a problem. What's critical about that is when you're launching a new mode of transit, you need to ensure that it's reliable, that people know that when they show up, that it's there, it's functioning, and they can get across the lake. A difference, she says, between their plan and a host of others, which have come and gone over the years without materializing. That's been critical, is to understand why did they fail? One, craft competency, and two, poor business planning, and to assure that we can do this and function um, well into the future. A future where they envision not only tourists taking trips between Toronto and the Niagara region of Ontario, but also commuters making daily trips instead of using GO trains or the QEW. We really want to ensure that people can take it more consistently and not utilize it just once in a while. I think the critical part is to get the masses using it. So we're probably looking at anywhere between two to three years out at this point, uh, but we are anticipating and anxiously awaiting some type of resolution to some of the terror of conversation ongoing between our two great countries. Now, there is no answer at this point to the question perhaps most on your mind right now, which is how much will it cost? To ride the answer to the sixty-four thousand dollar question is mm -hmm. obviously not sixty-four thousand dollars, but it is going to be determined, and it won't be determined until they're closer to launch, which, as she indicated, might still be a few years away. On your side in the studio, Dave McKinley, Channel Two News.